So today we're back with another build video for you guys in the wonderful game of Grounded. And today we are talking building. I know, the build build. That sounds a little strange, but we're going for it anyway. It's all about building. It's all about carrying the most resources and getting there as quick as you can. I'm going to be going over the armor that you're going to be wearing, the weapons and tools you're going to be using, as well as the mutations and how to unlock them all within this video. So let's hop in and let's check it out, shall we? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the tools that you're going to use. Tier 3 tools. Do they need to be upgraded? No. They don't need to be upgraded. I go down the mighty to upgrade the damage, but honestly, you don't really need to upgrade them at all. I go down tier three for all of them, except for the tier two shovel, which is the black ant shovel, because we do not yet have a tier three shovel in the game. Now, what I want to point out to you guys as well is to remember that this is my preference on how to make the best build for building in the game okay some people are gonna say well i prefer this i prefer that if you would let me know that down in the comments but let's hop in let's continue on with what we're talking about i keep a fire ant shield on is there any reason to keep a fire ant shield on other than having the fire ant shield on it's good for blocking while you're running around harvesting that's really the big reason why I keep this on. Next, we're going to talk the intern badge to show you guys how we get the intern badge over to previous sim. I jumped over to where the Barbie car is. So that way I could point out exactly where the intern badge is for you guys. You will need a tier three ax in order to get it because you do need to cut some roots. But what you do is you run to the left of this badge right over here. You're looking for this blue cap. That's right here. Let me open up on the map to show you guys exactly where we are once i'm right on top of it it's right here next to this little blue dot you see the little blue dot right next to my peat symbol you want to go right in there underneath and this is why you need that tier three axe you got a couple dead roots here you cut those out of the way and then as you run back here there's a skeleton and this guy is going to give you the intern badge Alrighty, so that's how you get the badge. Now, what this badge does is it actually increases your hauling strength, but decreases your movement speed. Now, like I said previously, we have a way to get around that. And no, it's not the aphid slippers. Some people love to put on the aphid slippers because they give you the quickness, which allows you to block out that debuff of the intern badge but there's a perk that's going to help us out around that so that's why i say aphid slippers if you want to but i don't use them all right the next part here is the fluffy pupa hat this is important because it gives you plus to hauling strength all right it's a massive buff and it's tier three armor so the resistance and the defense is actually fairly good in comparison to your tier one red ant armor that you're going to be using for your chest and your legs now i want to point out all of these are in the sleek path the fluffy pupa hat doesn't really matter unless you're worried about cutting down a whole lot of things but the chopping harvest speed uh is going to be a bonus if you go down the sleek path for both the uh ant legs and the ant chest piece just to help you out a little bit so that is the gear down the sleek path there's no changes to the fire Fire ant shield because you cannot upgrade shields yet hopefully we're going to get that updated in the future but this is the gear set that you use and honestly i think it works really well in fact if you want to chop down trees or grass or whatever if you have it upgraded with a couple perks literally this this axe is you know two hits to cut down a piece of grass like it's nothing boom see like nothing you could cut down grass for days like it's nothing and pick up a whole bunch we're not going to get to showing you guys how much you can actually pick up here for just a second because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk mutations i'm going to talk to you guys about how to get the mutations that i'm talking about first of all grass master grass master is going to help with that chopping harvest speed this is going to allow you to cut down grass faster you cut this you get this perk by cutting down a crap load of grass up to 200 pieces of grass and you'll have tier three then you have rock cracker this is going to help you with busting this is going to you no, know, no, busting rocks, guys. Busting rocks. Anyway, not moves. So it's going to help you harvest rocks when you're needing to harvest rocks in case you guys are looking to make pebblet foundations or other items that require you to bust more often. Okay, then the next one here that we're going is Hauling Hero. 
perk one is going to give you plus five, perk level two is going to give you plus 10, and perk level three is going to give you a whole whopping plus 15 points. In order to get the hauling hero perk, you need to go through and get the coziness of your base from tier two to tier three to tier four. By the time you hit tier four, hauling hero will reach tier phase three and you'll be able to lift 15 more items. And then finally, I like to throw on natural explorer. Natural explorer for me is a fantastic tool for you to use to counteract the slowness of needing to use the intern badge. So all in all, it allows you to do this. Now, in order to get Natural Explorer upgraded, you need to run around and find a whole bunch of landmarks, but you can do that. Now, you guys may be wondering, once again, Sim, what about that fifth spot that you have? I'll leave that completely up to you guys. It's up to you on what you want to put in there. That's your utility spot. Use it for what you would like to use it for. If you'd like more stamina recovery, slap on Cardio Fan. If you want to go out and make it so you can go and get some more stuff, go ahead and get the Loot Lock one, the Dissection Expert. If you guys want to go through and get more health, use Meat Shield. It's completely up to you. Whatever you want to use to be your fifth perk. I tend to leave it open for your guys' discretion. So let's talk actually how much that you can go through and pick up and loot using this outfit here. This outfit is ridiculous when it comes to picking things up. Now you can see here, I could pick up 41 planks. 41. That means I could pick up 41 blades of grass without a single problem at all. I can literally run through and have a huge stack that's covering the majority of my screen. You can see I'm only carrying 14 right now. There are 17 right there, and I already have just a ton of room. But we can do even better, and that is if you go through and drink a special smoothie called Workman's Comp. Now, if you want to make a Workman's Comp smoothie, it's right here. You need the red ant parts, literally just a whole bunch of red ants. And if you use gum to make them, it's going to make it so the effect lasts even longer, which is going to be a buff for you. Now, this is kind of an expensive smoothie for building, but I will show you guys throughout some testing here. I'm going to go ahead and drink one down. I'll show you that you can actually get up to 44 uh, items being held. 44 is a lot. Now, it only adds three pieces for you drinking that smoothie. Is it really worth it? In my book, no, but it is the best way for you to be able to go through and get the most carrying capacity that I know of in the game. Now, like I said, some people will swap out this gear one of the pieces of gear here for some aphid slippers and honestly it brings you down to 41 using the workman's comp smoothie or 38 without it is it really worth it i think it's actually 30 39 but is it really worth it it's really up to you it's only two planks here or three planks you know it's not that big of a deal and it does make you a little bit faster but honestly i prefer the extra carry weight allowing you to carry more and you really don't move that much slower doing this so there you guys go boom just like that an extra three for you that you can get on by going through and doing that so those will help now when it comes to food i do like to go ahead and eat a termite delight if i'm going to go through and do a whole bunch of harvesting it will increase your busting capacity as well as your maximum chopping harvest speed now as you can see with this axe already your tier two axe you're going to be ridiculously efficient at cutting things down i literally cut down that weed right there in two hits husky weeds be darn you can go through and wipe those out ridiculously fast as well now i will warn you you are wearing tier one armor even if it is upgraded all the way fighting things is still going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt so just be careful as you're going through and fighting things so this armor is not really meant to take on the world. I'm just, I'm being honest with you guys. And also be careful about, you know, fighting while you have a natural explorer on because you might end up running into a situation where you're moving even slower because that intern badge really does slow you down. But guys, get out there, use this, you wonderful builders out there that know how to build massive structures or just all around really cool things. I once saw somebody building some stuff from Star Wars, saw somebody building some stuff from Harry Potter. I've seen all sorts of different things being built in this game and i cannot wait to see more of the things that you guys build using this wonderful new
build that I've showed you guys. Now, I'm sure this has been gone over a couple times. I got a couple friends like See Through that I've seen make a build a lot like this and some other folks as well that have made some awesome building videos as well as well as going through and showing off some awesome builds too for what they use as their building build. That's a lot of build in one word. It's how you build a sentence for building builds. You just use the word build a whole lot. Anyway, enough with all that. Thank you guys all so much for watching this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, smack that like button for me. And also guys, don't forget to check out some of the other build videos we're doing with all the new updates that are coming to Grounded this year, possibly this fall for our brand new update that's going to be massive. According to the developers, I'm super excited to see all of you guys in the next one.